Hello friends, welcome to this session of Learning R Programming. And in this session, we will see how to convert wide table to long table. And before starting, we will try to understand what wide table and long table are. In wide table, a same data type or similar data is spread over many columns. Here, uh, these volume readings are measured by a student whose name is Tushar. Then these are the readings by student Shubham. These are the readings by student Dhanashri and so on. Now, if you see in this table, uh, these column headings, Tushar, Shubham, Dhanashri, Shivani, Shrushti, themselves are uh, values of a variable called as student. And the volume values or volume measurements are spread in different columns. When we convert that to long table, in long table what happens that uh, all the students name are there in the student column and all the uh, volume values, actually volume is measured as weight here on the uh, electronic balance and all those readings are in it in a weight column, in its separate column and this long table is also called as tidy table. And this table makes data analysis easier and we'll see how to convert white table to data table and how it makes our analysis easy. We'll go there. I will start my R studio and I'll go to the new R script. I will just remove the variables which are there in my environment. I will just clean the uh, console and I will start. Before starting to import data, I will set my working directory. I will put inverted quote, go to my directory where my files are there, data files are there. And this is the data file which I want to import. It's an Excel file. I will click here in the address bar, copy that address and put that in the set working directory and just convert this uh, backslash to double backslash and we'll run that will bring that data into object called as df and this is excel file we are going to import excel file therefore we need to call library read excel read excel and run that now uh, this read excel library will provide us read excel sx function and there it requires the file name will go to the folder and we'll copy the file name just right click the name rename and copy that file name i'll bring that here and put that in inverted quotes and after the at the end of the file name i will put the extension that is xlsx and we'll run that now uh, our file got imported head df we'll see yeah the file got imported and as it's a uh, modern function it imports that data in a modern data frame called as table now uh, we will convert this wide table to long table and for that we will require function from library tidier and if you have not installed this library just go to tools and install packages and type in the package name there just select from the drop down list and click install package will get installed when i run that library tidier i will have all the functions of tidier imported into uh, memory of my computer now i will just give the name df long and this to this name i will assign the uh, output of the functions which i am going to apply here and the data which i am going to convert to long is called as df I will pipe that data. This is pipe operator. In pipe operator uh, pipes the data. That's df will be transferred from through this pipe operator to the function on the right hand side. And here the function will be pivot longer. And if you see in the yellow box, you can see arguments required for that. The data argument we have provided before that pipe and calls and other arguments will provide here. Calls is equal to one two n call df i will use this n call df will provide me number of columns of that df and you can see that those are 13 and this 1 to n call df i will uh, will give me numbers 1 to 13 
and that one to thirteen call columns we want to pivot together. Names of these columns will go to uh, the vector called as students, and values I will just bring that to lower line. Values to will go to column called as volume here and we'll run that and it something happened after student we have not put the comma because comma is required after the arguments and now we will run yeah it function got ran and we'll see whether it has got really converted to a long table or not and for that we'll use the function view v i e w and please remember that this v shall be uppercase and after that we'll put the name of the data frame which we want to see in that argument of the view function we'll run that and it will open as a spreadsheet and you can see here just two columns are there students and volume as we uh, specified in the uh, pivot longer function and all the first readings of all those 13 students will be here then next reading will start from uh, 40th column and this will reach to 26th column again a third reading will start and that will go on and we will have around 130 readings uh, 130 observations there because 13 students uh, measure 10 values and deem df long we'll see here to see about that and that 130 rows are there and two columns are there because we have uh, convert reshaped or converted wide data frame df to long data frame df long and if you want uh, to plot this uh, data uh, we'll first go with the df and uh, we are we are going to use that ggplot function therefore we'll need library ggplot2 and if you are not installed ggplot2 package install it in ggplot2 i will give the data frame name df white data frame we will uh, specify aes now we'll specify the x axis because we have many y axis here and uh, what x axis uh, that's little difficult which x axis because i want to plot uh, compare all those 13 students and i don't know how to do that using the white table uh, in r uh, that becomes really difficult to uh, analyze the white table in excel that's possible you can uh, use those as different series but here in r i don't know how to do that and therefore i will just leave that use the idea of using white table i will use the long table only and with very simple way we can get uh, different plots from it that df long will be the first argument to ggplot2 aes and that student will be the x1 and values will be the y1 and plus geom box plot will be our first plot and we'll run that and uh, some error is there I will see the error values not found yeah volume is there sorry uh, the y aesthetic I put it wrong now we have the tables okay. this plot can be customized we'll see that later the same one same plot we can convert to many different plots very easily violin plot this is again another distribution plot very important one uh, the third one if you want to plot monovariate one the student i will bring there to the fill aesthetic fill is equal to students and remove the comma then geom density we can plot because it's a monovariate plot x axis uh, y axis is not required here volume will be the x axis and its frequency will be the or density will be the y axis we'll run that uh, geom densities are there we can change alpha is equal to 0 0.3 to uh, see the, that overlap properly again this is long table therefore plotting graph using long table becomes uh, very easy 
histogram i will plot and run that the histogram is there alpha is not required there therefore i will remove the alpha argument and this histogram is there and that's the beauty and just one function one function pivoted all the columns together and uh, brought those names into a, uh, names of those columns in one column that uh, was cat that is categorical column now and the quantity values or uh, values of those columns of white table into a its own table uh, own column called as volume and tidy table makes our work very easy uh, just uh, practice reshaping your data thanks thanks for watching this video if you have liked the video please click like button share this video with your friends hit the notification button to get notifications of my new videos and if you are not subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe to my channel thanks thanks for watching